Hello and welcome to the 21st tutorial in the Bootstrap Free Series. In this part we're going to be looking at justifying button groups. We'll be using the source code from the 16th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a button group set up. Bootstrap allows you to set a button group to span the width of its parent instead of being only large enough to contain the content. So to implement this is pretty simple. Let's open up our project in a text editor. What we need to do is enclose our button group inside another div. So if we scroll down, we have our button group right here. So uh, we're going to put a div of class equals button group. And in here, what we're going to do is just put btn group And it's not just going to stay as button group as we've already got it right here. It should, should be button dash group, my bad. And that's going to be dash justified. And we're just going to close this tag and then fully close it here. Just indent it. Save it and now we're ready to run this. So openly open our web browser. So there you go, we now have it and it spans the entire screen. You may be wondering why are the items below each other? Well, any items next to each other need to be within their own button group like so if you use justification. So if we just go back to it, because uh, obviously we don't want it like that, we want it so each button is next to each other, but the actual overall button group, aka this one, spans the entire width of its parent element. And to do that, you literally, what we can do is copy and paste this here. Add it there, add it there, add it there. And now we can just close it off. We're just going to put div, div, div. Actually, you know what I will do? I will just format it a little better so when you get the source code, it's a little easier to read. It's going to take another about 10 seconds or so, so it's not major. Okay, and now we're ready to run this again. So let's just go back to our web browser, refresh. Okay, that's weird. Let's just try reopening it. That didn't work. Let's go back to it and see what I did wrong. Okay, I think we need to remove this. Remove this div right here. Go back. Refresh. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and show you what the issue was. I had too many button groups because I already had a button group right here. I needed to enclose its content inside another div, not this right here. Because obviously these have their own button groups now. So I'll just get rid of that. Get rid of that. At least you know how to fix it now if you ever have that issue. Sort out the formatting, go back to our web browser, refresh, and there you go, we have three buttons as we usually do, but instead of it just taking up a little bit of space here, it takes up the entire screen with, or what I should say, the entire parent uh, width. And if I start resizing, it resizes very nicely. Obviously, it takes up its parent width and that looks really really cool so it would look really nice if it's at the top and it's some sort of tab system or some sort of menu system as an extra task add more button groups within the button groups to see what happens the next tutorial will cover button drop downs if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required links for source code will be in the description to check out hundreds of more videos like this one for free visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day